And a very good evening, everybody. Former Coyote All-State baseball player Garrett Hill is underway in his senior season at NDSU, and he's hoping it will be one to remember. You guys bring back a lot of talent. Hopefully you can make a nice long run and, you know, get to the NCAA tournament, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our, that's our goal. Um, made it to the Summit League tourney last year, obviously. Had a good year, but came up short. But I think our, our, our pitching staff's a little bit better this year. We have a little bit deeper rotation. Um, lost some, some of our arms, but gained a lot of good, consistent arms that I think will really help on the defensive side. And same with our bats, I think. Picked up some guys that can, can swing. Uh, so, yeah, I think it should be good. I think it should be a fun, good year. All right, folks, this product of the Williston baseball program took on LSU in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They're the second-ranked team in the nation. They send a lot of folks to Major League Baseball. They fell 6-1. to one. That wasn't that bad. Garrett played right field. He went 0 for 3, and uh, they will take on the Tigers again tomorrow at 1 p.m. So a kid from Williston, North Dakota, competing against athletes in the Southeastern Conference. And that is something very much to be proud of. And, hey, we're proud of the Tetons. They're in Arizona. Region 13 defending champs. They pounded a uh, Riverland community 17 to 1, 13 hits for Mason Prisbilla's crew. Best Cuzzy, three RBIs and a home run, so having a real good year. Denton, one of their stars from last year, three RBIs and a new name, Adashi, three RBIs. We can't wait for them to come home so we can get to see this new team. All right, softball. Lady Tetons are in Florida and they fell to South, uh, South Cloud community 10 to 2 obviously from uh, Minnesota they played at Channel Lakes Field in uh, Florida and that's the longtime home former longtime home of the Red Sox so certainly know that very very well they're having a great time uh, but they couldn't score any runs against Southeast community falling their nine zip this trip uh, obviously to prepare them for the Mondak Conference now Garrett Hill's former roommate Cade Feeney was drafted by the Boston Red Sox last July and Recently, they had a chance to get together. How's your roommate like being a professional baseball player? <laughs> I, I, he enjoys it. Um, yeah, I spent spent this last summer in rookie ball down in uh, Florida. So but we got a chance to hang out with him over the fall. He came back and trained with us for a month. So he's, he's enjoying it. He's, I mean, he's, he's, he's a good dude. It's, I'm really glad that it happened to him because there's a lot of guys that you know, get to their head. But he's just, he's a humble kid. He stays. He stays within himself, doesn't showboat or nothing. He's just a good player. And I hope he, hope he makes it far so I can get free tickets to Boston games. Maybe bring you with. <laughs> I love to go there and see him pitching for the Red Sox. God, he looks good. And his grandpa's up in heaven, Bob, who I've interviewed many, many times from Crosby. Got a big old smile on his face, a class guy. He'd be very proud of that young man. All right, college basketball, could this be true? Could the Cats take on the Grizz tomorrow night for the Big Sky title and a trip to the Big Dance? Well, so far, we know the Cats are in. They beat Sacramento 74-71. Fort had 19, and Montana's got the lead in the first half, 19-15. to So that's a big, big game for basketball in the great state of Montana. Women's college basketball, a tough one. NDSU played really well in the women's division at the summit in South Dakota, but fell to South Dakota State 67 -50. 254. It seems like they're always tussling, whether it's women's basketball or football, obviously, but they get this one in. All right, UND hockey team enters the world of postseason play on Friday against Miami of Ohio at the Ralph. Now, last weekend, they ended the regular season by dropping two to Omaha, four to one and three to two. Not the way you want to enter postseason plays is one of their great leaders. You know, just consistency of habits and details and work ethic is, is so important. And um, we just, we need to do that every night. It doesn't matter if it's tonight or three weeks down the road, whatever, so. I love the kid. Best two out of three. So they have to be ready on Friday against those Red Hawks. And with that, we take a timeout on First News at 10.